Seriously, I, 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 I didn't need all of those clips. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Um, Caleb is sleeping at the moment, so I'm going to try to get as much as I can retwisted. Um, my hair is pretty damp still. I'm gonna probably still re-wet it a little bit twisting. So what I'm going to do is just split my hair in its four sections to make it easier to twist and to make sure I'm keeping um, the parting correct when I'm twisting it. Like I'm not trying to grab any extra hair from a different lock. So I just am going to separate it into the four sections. And then I'm just gonna start twisting. I'm sorry if I'm whispering. Oh, the lighting is so much better now. But um, yeah, I'm sorry if I'm whispering. Caleb is sleeping out there, so. So yeah, I just um, separated my hair into the four sections. This is how I originally twisted my hair, part down the middle, part going from the left to right into four even sections, and then kind of worked with the four sections. And then I'm just going to go row by row. I think I have another clip. Ooh. Oh, wow. Eep, broke it. <laughs> so I guess I can take this clip and just clip it out of the way. And I will start my first retwist. So I'm just going to apply a small amount of the oil and then work that. work that into my hair and then I'm just going to twist at the base and then twirl my fingers going around. This little extra hair I'm just going to take and wrap around the lock and I'm not going to twist it too tight. hard for me to explain because I can't really see what I'm doing in the back so I think I'll come back when I'm like up in the front and I can see and explain so you guys can see like there's a lot of frizz on this one so I well for these I'll twist it and then I grab the extra hair, the frizzy hair, and then I'm taking that hair and wrapping it around the lock. Not, I'm not doing that to all of them, just the ones that are like super frizzy. And then palm rolling it once, twice is the max that I'm palm rolling and just twisting it down and then clipping it. Okay, so I got my first section retwisted. Um, took maybe 20, 30 minutes. And again, my hair isn't completely locked, so I'm not really doing like a 
over the top retwist. I'm just doing a basic little twist at the root, wrapping the extra hair around the end, the frizzies, and calling it a day. Um, I wanna get into this front section really quick before CJ wakes up so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing to my hair. Now, this section is like super frizzy, so I'm not using a comb, I'm just using my hands. So before I twist this section, I just want to go through and kind of separate all of the hair so you guys can see. What's going on? And, um, it's still pretty damp too, so I don't think I'm going to re-wet it. But I'm just, you know, using my finger to grab whatever hair belongs to each assigned lock, not using a comb to comb it or anything. And I'm just going to clip the extra little pieces away so I can work. Okay, so make sure I have all of the hair that belongs with such said lock. I'm gonna take maybe one, two, oh, that's a little, that's a bit of much, maybe two drops of oil. I'm just going to gently, you know, rub it onto the hair. And I'm going to go in whatever direction that the twist was originally twisted in. So this one will be going to the right, twisting it down. This one is a little frizzy, so I'm going to grab, you know, the extra hair to wrap around. At the end, I'm going to do a little palm roll, gently twist it down, put some oil on the little end, and then I'm going to secure it, clip it to the back. I'm not going to clip it there. Let's see. Perfect. 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 All right. Now on to the next one. One, two. Oh, my bottle. I'm gonna have to get a new bottle. This bottle leaking all over the place. And I'm putting the oil onto the hair. I will go back probably tomorrow and um, oil my scalp. But I um, keep my oil, I mean, I keep my scalp oil pretty good. This one is a super thin one, so I'm just gonna do a little twist all the way down to the end. I'm not even gonna palm roll this one. Gently twist it, and then I'm gonna grab a clip and clip this one to that one. Okay, so not clip it, but okay. I'm gonna remove this clip and clip these two together. Yeah, that's smarter to do. There we go. Perfect. Again, this is my first time retwisting my hair, so I'm learning as I go, and you guys are, you know, learning with me. So I am using the two prong clips for the thicker locks, and then the single prong for the thinner locks. All right, so I got pretty much half of the front section done. And I am gonna stop retwisting them this way. I'm actually gonna retwist the other half going this way because I wanna wear my hair for the rest of the week going this way. I don't want to wear the middle part. Thank you, thank you, handsome. <laughs> 
he was just having a meltdown on the floor so I'm not gonna be able to finish these my hair is actually drying out so for the rest of it I'm definitely gonna respray it down to um, help with the twisting process because as you can see these are kind of not like super tight. They look good, but I think that they could look better. Bless you. But um, yeah, so for the rest of it, I'm gonna respray it down and I'm gonna twist this half going this way so I can wear it, um, this part. Um, so far, the hardest problem that I'm having is knowing exactly where I want to place the clip. Like I don't wanna place it too close and then I'm noticing that my clips are like stacking up on top of each other. So I guess the more that I do this, the easier it'll get, I don't know. What are you reaching for? Um, I'll know where to place the clip. So I'm gonna deal with Caleb, feed him some dinner, probably um, bath time, do all of that, and put him down for the night, and then I'll probably be able to finish my hair up once he's um, sleep for the evening. But yeah, so far so good. So I did all of this in probably 30, 40 minutes, if that, so. I'm moving pretty fast. Again, I'm not a professional, so yeah, I'll be back in a little bit. Thank the Lord! So, one of the twins, Jalen, got Caleb for the time being. Well, this section is still a little, it's still okay, but I'm gonna still just spray it down real quick. Just spray some water and then finish twisting it up. This is a perfect example. You can see this one is like really frenzy at the end. So I've been twisting them and then taking that extra hair and just wrapping it around the lock. And then when I get to the end, I do a little palm roll to get it together. And then it's set. Okay, so finished my whole hair. I'm just put on oil. Sorry if you guys hear that if the boy's playing with Caleb. Dog just don't want to go to sleep. It's way past his bedtime. But anyways, this is what my entire head looks like all twisted up. Definitely got to get better with the clips because I started with 160 clips and I legit have, I think, eight clips left. So I think I kind of OD'd on the clips, but I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get into a routine, um, get into a, um, some kind of pattern. But if this was earlier in the day, I would just let my hair air dry or I would put the blow dryer to it to help it dry. But it is late night, it is almost 10 o'clock. So I think I'm going to just sleep with the clips in and let my hair dry um, overnight. I think the back is pretty much dry because it's been so long. The front is kind of damp because I just re-wet it, but I'll see you guys in the morning when I take the clips out and see what my hair is kind of looking like after it has set for a little bit. So, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Let me see. So, good morning. Let me fix my camera so we can have a... Uh, <laughs> There we go. <laughs> but um, good morning. So it is the next day of my retwist. Give you guys a look. I slept with these clips in my head. I guess because I'd be sleepy with CJ, but it wasn't a big deal to me. I did take a few out around my ears that were bothering me. But other than that, I slept like a baby and I'm still nursing. So I have to sit up three to four times during the night to nurse him, or sometimes I side lay, but neither here nor there. The clips really didn't bother me, so it's time for me to take the clips out and see 
what we working with. So. Yeah, I definitely OD'd on the clip show. I don't think like if I went to somebody professionally that they would use that many clips. But I can't really see what I'm doing in the back. So. All right. Okay. Why, but I just feel like I got locks. Like this retwist is giving me get it to the back. This retwist is definitely giving me <laughs> locked and loaded vibes. Like get into it. Like look at the front, the side, my little part. Get to the back. Definitely. I really like the ends. I like this part too, but I really like how cute the ends are. But can you guys see? Oh, legit locks, yo. Wow. So, uh, okay. <laughs> I got locks. <laughs> like, <laughs> did a little retwist or whatever. <laughs> Yo, I'm flipping out right now. So, something that I am noticing already, like just going through looking at my hair, my hair does feel a lot drier than what it was before I used that shampoo, before I used the Dr. Bronner shampoo. My hair just has like kind of like a dull look to it. It's not as shiny as it was before. So I'm either going to use less of the shampoo or maybe try a conditioner or um, maybe revamp my oil. I don't think it's my oil though because I've been using this oil, I'm working on some stuff, but I don't think it's the oil. So it may be the shampoo with the whole drying effect. So I'm not ready to rule it out yet though. So um, yeah, that's just something that I'm noticing off rip, off rip, <laughs> I'm so old. <laughs> Thank you. And another thing that I'm noticing is that my ends, some of my ends, I guess I could have focused on them a little more. I would like um, less frizz, but I mean, it's lots. I don't know. Maybe I'm just picking too much. Maybe I'm just, you know, doing too much. But I really love this. I sent some pictures to AJ and he said, wow. I don't know if that's a good wow or a bad wow, but yeah. I'm CJ, get out of the garbage. No. So this is the results of my first retwist. I haven't added any extra oil. I just went and put on a little makeup to make myself look like something. In the back. I think it came out really, really good. Um, I'm probably do some cute little styles. So if you're not following me on Instagram at Naturally Candice, so you can see some of the cute styles that I come up with. Overall, I think that I did a really good job for my first time doing a retwist. Um, I'm gonna work on the shampoo ratio as well as my clip placement for my next retwist. But yeah, honestly though, um, I don't know how I feel about being able to see the parts. I kind of like it when it's not a fresh retwist. I don't know if it's because I'm new to my lock journey or what, but I don't know. So I guess I'll see as the days go on and it gets a little um, older. I officially locked my hair, let me see, May 24th. May 24th and it is July 9th. So let me count those weeks really quick. May one, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So this is actually my seventh week, which is really good um, because I wanted to wait somewhere in between the six to eight week mark. So I'm definitely not going to retwist my, re my hair again until the six to eight week mark. Just depends on um, how it's looking and if it's needed. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments or even if you have advice for me about something that um, you see me struggling with like the clips or any recommendations on shampoos and conditioner. You guys know I'm always open to um, advice and recommendations. So yeah, um, so yes, that is it for this video. I will see you guys in about two to three weeks for my two month lock update. But until our next video, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you.